Hi, Eric. So excited to talk with you about your experience as a fundraising rep at Gold Athletics. How are you? Sure. I'm doing fantastic. Getting ready for a big spring and hopefully an even bigger fall. Tell me a little bit about your role and what you do at Gold Athletics. So my current role is the territory manager, uh, New England West. And essentially I um, oversee Western Massachusetts, Southern Vermont, and several schools in Connecticut. Also manage um, another rep. And primarily um, my role is to develop relationships um, with youth and high school and college teams to raise money through our programs. Are you in the car a lot traveling from Vermont? Yeah, yeah. so yeah, I, I am in the car a lot, more so in certain times of the year. Um, that is the beauty of this job, especially in the kind of climate we're living in. Um, before, I would be in the car all the time um, and I would have several other departments that I would work, work on, but I'm primarily focusing on sales now and I have like a hybrid ability to work from home, but as well as go and meet clientele and with teams um, within the respective communities. So how did you get into the world of sports fundraising? So my start in this career was um, with an internship 10 years ago. Um, right around this time of the year, actually, in late January of 2013, I started um, as a merchant services, sales support, and sales lead generation intern um, here in the Western Mass community. So I have been doing this, um, or I've been involved in this industry for 10 years now, and I got my start as an intern. Next question is, what is changing in the fundraising industry and what do you think your job will look like in a matter of 5, 10, 15 years? What's changing is that there are more companies who are trying to do what we do or there's, there's more competition. Um, you know, so that is why it's even more crucial to be on top of our game and maintaining relationships and, you know, providing you know, results, which is all a part of, you know, qualifying good groups and making sure that we're doing everything to, to stay on top of, of our game. Um, and showing these groups the new and trendy things in our industry and in our product line. Opening up ideas of good programs that teams could use to fundraise with, being the first to deliver those programs to these teams, um, keep you know, making changes and improvements to the app that makes it more user friendly and easier for our players and coaches. Developing relationships and staying on top of, you know, new coaches that are coming in and, um, you know, new booster clubs and, you know, just constantly bouncing ideas off of each other for what works, what doesn't work and trying to make it work the best way possible. So what didn't you know when you got started as an intern and worked your way up about the industry that you wish somebody had told you or kind of given you the heads up about? Well, I didn't know a lot. I just knew that I would be working in sports in some capacity, not exactly knowing what that entailed. So when I found out that this would be helping teams fundraise, it seemed like a cool opportunity and one that um, you know, I got to help programs and help myself make a living and tied in marketing with the merchant services department. So I, I didn't know a lot. I just knew that I would be working in sports in some capacity, not exactly knowing what that entailed. So when I found out that this would be helping teams fundraise, it seemed like a cool option. What would you tell someone that's hoping to enter the field of sports fundraising? You need to be coachable learning about the business and some of the different processes that have helped uh, myself and other reps be successful. Um, you, you also need to be self-sufficient and a little bit of a self-starter in you just because there are days where, you know, you are expected to, to reach a certain amount of emails and phone calls and reach a certain amount of sales quota, if you will. So you have to have those skills, um, you know, to be successful in this business. I also think that having a passion in sports and you know, or a knowledge of your community is, is very important. So, um, you know, a lot of people think that we're a gym company or we, we, you know, we're a gym, but we're not. We're in the sports fundraising business. So, 
that's important just to kind of sales quota if you will so you have to have those skills um you know to be successful in this business i also think that having a passion in sports and you know or a knowledge of your community is is very i love where we're heading but to give some descriptive words i would say adaptive i would say that um, between all the different departments and just trends of our industry we're, we're all adapting to figuring out the best processes that work um for for everybody involved there are a lot of um, strengths that everybody in the company has, and we're just trying to figure out the best ways to, um, you know, execute those strengths, if you will. And I think we're, as a whole, or just as a company, we're pretty transcendent in the sports fundraising industry, being one of the first to create our own app as a sales platform and have separate departments that handle, you know, certain things. Um, it doesn't overwork or overload the work for sales reps, which used to have to do everything on their own. Um, that would cause a lot of burnout before in the past. And just having different departments in our company is just huge for the overall growth of, of where we are and where we're going. A lot of support, adaptation. Yeah, just transcending into the modern world of fundraising. I love the background. You show the app behind you. I think yep. that's a great way to summarize uh, Gold Athletics. So just knowing who you are and what you excel at in this role, what would somebody need to have in order to do well in the sales, uh, fundraising sales world? Well, everyone has a little bit of a different approach um, with their programs. And some guys have some things that work for them that doesn't work for others. But ultimately, I think in any kind of sales role, you, you do need to be persistent um, in your approach with any prospective new team or just existing team. You have to um, also be organized, making sure you're extra um, attention to detail with your note taking and making sure that you're not missing out on any other opportunities. You've been at the company how many years now? All of this year will be 10 years full time. Um, I've been part of this industry just from as an intern or as full time for 10 years officially, just January. Hi. So. All right, well, happy 10 year anniversary. What an exciting Thanks. way to wrap up 10 years um, and share with the world what you do. Thanks so much for talking with me today. And For sure. Sounds great. Thanks for the time, Charlotte.